What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another exciting episode of Super Mario Odyssey on Nintendo Switch. We're continuing our walk through the game, so thanks for coming by. And uh, today's episode is all about the Lake Kingdom, so make sure that you guys smash that like button, of course, and share the video with a friend. Let's do this! According to the top left corner, we need about eight of the power moons in order to advance, so let's find eight of them and continue on, shall we? Oh my goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our kingdom's finest lock lady dress. It's a tragedy. Oh boy, don't I know. Anyway, let's do some work. And of course, whenever we see a music note, we gotta go pick it up, right? Come on, Mario, swim! Oh, oh yeah, that's right, I can use Cappy. <laughs> I can use Cappy and just spin around in a circle a whole bunch of times. That's gonna be easy. Alright, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our very first moon. Typically the first one that you do want to get in this level. Uh, not that big of a deal. Here we go, flying on through. Alright, so the water plaza is directly behind her, but of course we are going to cash in on some money, which is right over there. And, on top of that, we are going to transform into a zipper! Whoa, look out Mario, a zipper! Holy moly. Alright. So, mastering the underwater swimming is really what you want to uh, learn how to do. So, th uh, if you do a stomp and then throw your cap, you'll do a very, very quick uh, little breaststroke there. Alright, so here we go. I'm hoping that the moon gives you air every time you get it, because <laughs> I'm, I'm about to drown. Did the moon give me air? Yeah, the moon gave me some air, baby! Whoa! Okay, that's right. Oof, wow, and I still have the right amount of air, so don't worry about that. Alright, so we got air, we got our, uh... <laughs> Alright, give me that, it's cheap, cheap, here we go. So now we are in the underwater entrance, yeah, you never have to worry about air. So this is great, because we can indeed do a lot of fun stuff over here. With the Cheap Cheap, you can swim around super fast, uh, but of course, we are going to go straight and play some 8-bit, right? Let's play some 8-bit musical collecting, shall we? And this is truly paying homage to uh, the NES era, whenever you go into the clouds, and there's always like, uh, like a bonus little level, and in that bonus level, you can uh, absolutely collect a whole bunch of coins, and it's just really fun, I still remember that stuff. And of course, speaking of coins, there's a little hidden area over there in case you were wondering. Pretty, pretty obvious, right? Pretty obvi. Alright, let's take a look. Now you're becoming quite skilled at being flat. And what is this, Dory? Finding Dory, wow. <laughs> we totally found Dory and there's a, there's a moon on her back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, other things that we did notice that there are some of the moon little, I don't know what you call them, like metal pieces, whatever, moon collectibles. You collect five of those and you'll be able to get uh, something pretty good. So there's the plaza. We can go into the plaza right now if we wanted to, or we can go visit an old friend of ours. Let's go see if we can go visit a friend. Get out of here. No, I'm, I'm wanted. I'm just a little fish. Alright, so we're gonna go deep into the water plaza, and uh, if you ever tried going down here with Mario, you would totally drown, considering the fact that you absolutely need the fish. Because Mario can't breathe that long? No way. Alright, so we're gonna go find our friend, Captain Todd. Hey, bud! The treasure tracker himself. Ah, oh, fancy meeting you here. That's right, it's me, Captain Toad. I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. Oh, swimming with his backpack is tough. I don't even know how I made it here. But I discovered this power moon here. You could have it. So Captain Toad, nonetheless, he just jumped into there with his heavy backpack and he just sank all the way down. But luckily, Toad has, uh, he's gotten like an air duct. An air pocket inside his, uh, in his giant mushroom. And that's exactly what, uh, that's how that works. Alright, so right around he no, not this one? What? Hold on, is it this one? Oh yeah, you'd think I wouldn't see that with the camera. Come here. Come here, lady. <laughs> oh, you found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. Give me that moon, lady. Our secret little room. Don't tell anyone. Alright, it's uh, let's keep this place our little secret. Why? Please tell me why. 
So they indeed have a beautiful shop, and there's Cat Peach over there, in case you wanted a heart. Uh, yeah, they do have a shop. That's the that's where the lock lady dress was supposedly at, but that was stolen a while ago. So the lock lady dress is the uh, it's the wedding dress that Bowser needs Peach to be in. And ironically enough, that lock lady dress is the perfect size for Peach. And of course, whenever you go into a brand new kingdom, you always want to visit the crazy cap shop, right? We're going to go inside there and uh, grab ourselves a free moon. And hey, you know, we're very close to just finishing off this level in like record time. It's like I'm speedrunning this. You know, I could totally speedrun Super Mario Odyssey. I I just played so much of it that we could totally do it. All right, so give me a fish really quick and uh, let's go surface. All right, so here we go. I am going to need to surface up. Okay, that's not how I surface. Fish? Good, good, I was about to say. If that thing went away. There we go, that's how we surface. <laughs> oh, and yes, it's a shortcut, and yes, you need to know how to do advanced techniques, such as uh, dive bombing out of a, um, out of a jump. So, there's a lot of things. But anyway, I digress. This can be a really, really fast episode. Because, like, the Lake Kingdom, there's really not that much. Oh, <laughs> you're too late. We already got the Lock Lady dress. And it even matches the boss's tuxedo, so no way we're giving it back. Okay, so this is our uh, our first encounter with Rango. Hmm, Rango. But Abdullah, how do you know his name? Yeah, we'll find out later, don't worry. Don't worry, Rango, come here! So Rango's gimmick is pretty much uh, doing that, like throwing out his spiky helmet, and then you just you can just shake. If you shake, you'll easily uh, home in on it, which is super super easy. And we're just gonna start drilling the villain like that. And then what I like to do is I like to stall in mid air with a spin jump. Oh yeah, yeah, he did it, he did it. Okay, I'm out of here, dude. Okay. So, if you're lucky enough, you can stall with a spin jump, or, of course, if you want to, um, if you want to just run away, you can do that, too, so. Boom. Alright, Rango's gone. Get him out of here. Give me my moon, or triple moon, or whatever you got, and let's move on out of here. That's right, dude. That's right. Hit me once. Shame on me. Hit me twice. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Ah, uh, drilling the villain. That was pretty good. Hit me once. Shame on you. Hit me twice. Shame on me. Hit me three times. Wait, how does that joke go again? <laughs> uh, is that what happened? <laughs> uh, let's not talk about that. Hey, what do you know? We did it. We got ourselves a multi-moon. We can leave at any given time, right? But no, come on. We got some more stuff that we can hang out with, right? Why not? All right, so I do want to show you guys a couple more things, and this is actually pretty cool. So as soon as you activate this, whenever you see like a mural on the wall, definitely, definitely press A on it, because you hear that musical sound effect. That means that if you go back to Cascade Kingdom in this particular area, you'll notice that the little stone columns or little stone columns, one of them is missing. So I'm presuming that you go back to the Cascade Kingdom and you ground pound that area and you'll find a moon. And that's cool, it's called Hint Art. So you can absolutely press the uh, capture button and then take a capture and look at it for later, you know? Just use the album. Home and then album to check it at any time. So that's amazing. And you can't prematurely do that either, so keep that in mind. All right, this is just a bunch of Goom Bobways. Get them out of here. This is pretty cool though. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet. But Goomba Tower, ooh. Goomba Tower is pretty cool. Goomba Tower, a Goomba Tower, a Goomba Tower. Alright. We got that big Goomba Tower. Come here. Take that wedding veil off. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Oh, I'm trying to get all the way up top. But all I have to do is just jump and hop out of it. So I don't need a super Goomba Tower. But I do want... Uh, I want one of you guys... Wow. Yeah, here we go. We gotta make this jump. Whenever you see a female Goomba, you need to make a big jump over to her. Wasn't she over here? I don't know. Did I see her? 
No, I didn't see her. That's a post game thing. Dang it. Okay, never mind that. What's this? Better not be a moon. Oh my gosh, that's a moon. Oh my gosh, that's a moon. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, that's a moon. Alright, so, oh my gosh, that's a moon. We're gonna come over here and get this Lakitu. Who's also a moon. Lakitu! Okay, so, Lakitu goes fishing. With these fish that are under the sand, if you hold out your line right in front of them, it's exactly like Animal Crossing. Where they'll notice it, and then they'll start biting on it. They'll get a nibble here and there. I don't even feel a nibble. The heck? Give me that! That's a moon right there, dude! The big one's a moon. Man, I hate fishing. Give me a good fishing sim, like in Yokai Watch. Yokai Watch is the best fishing sim. There we go. We're reeling in and we're shaking. Get him! Oh, God. Whew. And that one turned into a moon. Wonderful. I like that. Doodly -doo 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 -doo. Okay. So other things that you can do is uh, right inside here, if you take a look, there is a picture of the Sand Kingdom inside this little thing. So if you have the picture unlocked of whatever kingdom that was, you can absolutely warp your way over to there. And you'll land in a spot that can't be accessed unless you warp, which is really, really fun. So trust me, I spent hours, I spent hours trying to find out how to get up here from all the way down. Go figure, man. I spent hours, man. Literally, I was in Toastery and I'm like, how do I get to that gigantic island? That's floating in the sky. How does one even do that? Like, what? what's the deal? How, how do you do that? I tried going to the very tallest peak. There's a little um, guy that you can turn into that he kind of glides. His name is Glidon. Uh, and I tried all that stuff, but it didn't work and I couldn't glide over there and I was losing my mind and then I'm like alright fine I'll play a little bit of something else and let's let's just go and then I just came across it and I'm like oh my gosh that's how you get to these places that's crazy anyway so ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it for that uh, we can absolutely do this this is the courtyard uh, we can maybe go get that no we can't get that one that one or you know what maybe we can let's let's see let's see if we can zip Let's zip on through to the other side. You big zipper. Looking like a big dipper. All right, here we go. No, we can get that. Absolutely, we can. Here we go. It's just on the other side of this. End of the hidden passage. Yahoo. All right, so that's pretty easy. We got a, we got a boatload of moons. I like that. So I think what we're going to do right now is we're just going to leave. We're going to call it a day. We're going to call it an episode. We got even more things to explore. And trust me, once we get to the live stream... When we get to the live stream, it's going to be, oh man, no holds barred. We're going to be exploring every inch of this place. So don't you worry your little head off. Oh, but Abdallah, you're not, it's not 100% yet. Don't worry. It's okay. We're going to get it. <laughs> Let's go through all of these episodes in the main Let's Play first. And then we're just going to hang out. We're going to hang out. And we're going to... Do some moony stuff. Oh, what is this moon? Oh, I don't know. Hmm, you're gonna have to pay attention. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, our next de destination is the Wooden Kingdom. Maybe Bowser's there. Wood Wooded Kingdom is pretty cool. I do like the Wooded Kingdom. It, uh, it's very, very exciting because you can take a leap of faith off the ledge and you'll end up somewhere very cool. There's, uh, there's a lot of different transformations you can find, and of course, like, you can, you can do a lot of good stuff, so, I'm pumped up for it. Let's go. Alright, Mooney, Mooney, Mooney. Who, whoever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tactless fiend. Seeing as we've got some time to kill, let's reduce some skills. Spin throw. Okay, when you're surrounded by enemies, use the snap the pro control. I do that all the time. That's like the most useful attack. Well, there it is. Let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. 
According to this guy, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for its beautiful soiree bouquet. Soiree bouquet. It rhymes, it sounds great, and Bowser not only has a, a dress and a wedding ring, but now he's gonna go get some flowers for the wedding. See, he knows what's up. He totally knows what's up. Good job, Bowser. Pulling it through, man. Getting some rip. He knows where to find the best flowers, too. All right, as you can see, we got some uh, piranha plants over there uh, and a gigantic piranha plant. No PD piranha, unfortunately. I wish he made a little cameo, but he's not here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. Uh, ooh, did you hear something? Ooh, I don't know. Could be those spinning robots on the side over there. Who knows? Anyway. That's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. we got loads more content coming your way, so make sure that you guys are on board with the playlist, okay? You guys can check out the newest video on my channel there, recommendations there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Super Mario Odyssey content. Consider becoming a sponsor. We're giving away these during the live streams, so make sure that you check that out. And last but not least, oh, this bad boy. Do it. You want this. It's our giveaway, okay? Nintendo Switch giveaway. Links in the description. Go check out all those details. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that like button. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.